All right, we're going to talk about the electrical side of your van. Um, in your standard inclusions in this Infinity, we've got three 100 amp deep cycle batteries, a 2000 watt AC transfer inverter, an Enerdrive 40 amp DC to DC charger, and an Enerdrive 40 amp AC charger. So we'll start off with the 240 volt aspect of things. Uh, as before, we talked about plugging into the van. We had checking our lead first, making sure that has power and our power source has power. So we've plugged in, we've found we've got power to there. Uh, we've got our RCDs down here. So these are the first ones we want to check if we're not getting any power as your inlet runs into this RCD here. We want these up just like at your home. Uh, so they're all in place. Now with the 2000 watt AC transfer inverter, there's also an RCD on the back of it. Okay, there's a little blue one. So you will need to find that. It is located next to your power source here, making sure that is up. Uh, and that should basically mean that we've got power through all our GPOs. Um, in saying that, another way to trace that with the Enerdrive AC transfer inverter, at the moment we've got that on. We are not in power. And I can see we've got a little orange signal up here telling me this inverter is running off the battery. So all our 240 points are live running up to 2000 watts. If we were to plug in power to the van now, that would switch over to green. Show me that 240 volts transferring through the inverter so we can use some of our higher appliances, run the aircon, etc. Uh, if you are off grid like we are now, we can change across. And you can see that we are having a little appliance running at the moment. You can watch the wattage that you're pulling. Uh, so if you have an item like your coffee pod machine on that, you can see how many watts you're pulling while running that. Uh, that'll allow you to see if you've used something too high that may have tripped the breaker. Um, when you are not using this uh, inverter in your off-grid, make sure you do turn that off. So if you're not using appliance in the meantime, turn it off. Uh, that way you're not drawing anything from the battery, especially if you've left it overnight. Uh, it can pull over one amp, one and a half amps, just in standby waiting to be used. So good tip. Make sure that's off. You wake up in the morning and want to run your coffee pod machine or your laptop or whatever you're looking to run. Turn it on. Wait till we've got power. See the little red light and away we go. When we're plugged into mains power or our generator, our Enerdrive 40 amp AC charger will be plugged into a power point located close to the charger. We need to ensure that is switched on. Uh, as soon as you're plugged into power, that should fire up the Enerdrive charger here and it should be set to feed in for the type of batteries you have. So if you've got the standard AGMs, this charger will be set up for them. Uh, if you have upgraded to lithium, the charger setting would be changed to lithium. Uh, on this, you will see, uh, for instance, the standard AGM batteries, they'll do a bulk charge until it gets up to around 80%. Then it will do an absorption charge and it'll drop the flow rate. Then it'll go to full. A um, Couple of things to notice here is your AC charger is fused. So if you find you are turned on, plugged into mains power, and your charger is getting no charge, uh, one of the first things we can do is have a look at the fuse. So there will be a fuse located close to the AC charger. We can visually check this. If it all looks good, uh, the next step to do would be to hold the menu button. So on the menu button here, it'll bring up how many volts now, it's going to pick up the batteries first, so we can tell if we've got nothing on the charger, if it first, on channel 1, it says 0 volts, there's a, there's a drama between the batteries and the positive wire. Uh, if we find that the charger, you know, you're plugged in and it's saying that your batteries are full, but your app or your battery monitoring system says different, there's a drama between the charger and the negative wire. So that could be something that you identify early uh, to help troubleshoot. If you've had a look visually all over that and you're still having dramas with your Enerdrive gear, they have a great support team. Uh, we're always more than happy to help, but these Enerdrive guys really know their gear. Uh, they may ask you to do something as simple as maybe check the fuse. You've visually had a look. Uh, they may say, do you have a multimeter present? Uh, if you do, this can be a handy little tool. Uh, now, there's a few things they may ask you to do. If you're familiar with it, they may ask you to check uh, the continuity. So if there is power traveling through, you can see when I touch one side of the fuse and the other, 
showing that with the beep here, it's showing me that there is power going through. Uh, another thing to make, that they may say to check is the voltage if there's the same either side. Uh, with that, if I didn't get a beep, we could tell, hey, that fuse is no good and needs replacing. Uh, there is a couple of spare in here with the van. Uh, changing over to voltage, they could say, is it the same either side? One side on, one side on the negative, and it's reading on that side we have 13.5, and the other side the same, showing us there is no dramas with the fuse. It may be different, you could have no voltage on one side, battery voltage on the other, showing that there is damage in the fuse. The Enerdrive 40 amp DC to DC charger has three channels on the display screen. Channel one is your primary batteries in the van, so it's going to give you a readout of what that is. Channel two is your solar input. So it's going to give you, if you're pressing the menu button, it's going to give you a display of how much voltage is coming in from your panels. Channel three is your Anderson plug on the front of the van, so your vehicle input. So what we're going to do is if you are plugged in and you see you have no charge to your DC to DC charger or your batteries are continuously dropping, we can check through the DC to DC charger. So what we can do is same thing. Uh, if you're checking your fuse, all you have to do is check if there's, if you've got no channel 2, it could be as simple as a fuse blown, uh, we just have to check that same way that we check the AC. Uh, if we find that's it, it's basically going to help us troubleshoot to find it, whether it's an issue from up above at the solar or an issue down at the DC charger or on the output side of the DC charger. So the Enerdrive 8 DC to DC charger has an input solar fuse and it has an output DC fuse. So the fuses are clearly labelled here. The only other alternative you can do is by pushing the menu button on the DC DC charger, contacting one of our staff at Java or at Enerdrive and telling them the readings through there and they can talk, assess you through a couple more troubleshooting steps before needing to get the van into checked.